Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Pro. Today we'll be solving double square root sort of the form the square root of a plus or minus 2 square root of b. So for a, we have to think of two numbers that when we add them together, it will give us a. And the same two numbers, when we multiply them together, it will give us b. So if we have m plus n should be equal to a and m times n should be equal to b. So we have to think of two numbers that when we add them together, it will give us a. And when we multiply the two numbers together, it will give us b. Then, not forgetting, not forgetting that we have 2 in front of the square root of b. So if we have that two numbers, so our answer for the solution will be the square root of m plus or minus the square root of n. Okay, let us start with the first example. The first example, 5 is just like a and 6 is just like b. So if we think of two numbers that when we add them together, it will give us 5. So it's 3 plus 2. Then if we multiply the two numbers together, it will give us 6. So we have 3 times 2 is 6. So everything is perfect. So our answer will be equal to the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. So that's it. Now if we look at the second example, we have the square root of 48. There is no 2 in front of 48. But we should not forget that the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So if we solve this problem, we have to make sure that 2 should be in front of b. So if we rewrite this, we are going to have the square root of 7 minus. We know that um, 48 is the same as 4 times 12. We are doing it because we want to have 2 in front of b. So if we rewrite this, we are going to have 7 minus root 4 root 12, which is also the same as 7 minus. The square root of 4 is the same as 2 root 12. Okay, now everything is perfect. We have to think of two numbers that when we add them together, it will give us 7. And when we multiply the two numbers together, it will give us 12. So is 4 plus 3 is the same as 7. And 4 times 3 is the same as 12. So the two numbers are 4 and 3. But we have a minus sign here. So make sure you write the square root of the bigger number first. So we are going to have our answer will be equal to the square root of 4 minus the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is also equal to 2. So we are going to have 2 minus 3 is going to be our solution. Thanks for watching.